Jackson and Browner, and it's Robinson who wins it. Touchdown, Jacksonville. His 14th with top, looking deep for Robinson. And the is right. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the film room. So I haven't done a film room video in a good little bit. Unfortunately, life happens, and I've just been extremely busy with work lately. But today we're going to get into some film room, and we've got a new addition to the Jacksonville Jaguars via trade last week from the Bal or from the Buffalo Bills. Uh, we essentially traded him for a six-round pick, essentially a salary dump from the Buffalo Bills end. But what they don't want, we'll have, and. Uh, you know, we brought in Marcel Darius to be able to help us in run defense. So, uh, you know, you're going to see this big man right here. Uh, the defense had 39 snaps the other day versus the Bengals. So we pretty much locked him down. Um, of those 39 snaps, Marcel Darius was in 12 of those plays. And we're going to go over four different plays from um, this film review session. So let's get right into it. You're going to see him right here lined up on the outside shoulder of the right guard and uh, you're going to see him immediately help out in some run defense. Uh, you're going to see him take on the double team immediately. But one thing you're going to notice is that he doesn't go anywhere. Uh, when he, they double team him, he stands his ground, and that's going to allow him, Joe Mixon, not to have any running lanes as Paul Pazuzny is going to stop this gap. And you're going to see, I believe this is Miles Jack coming in from uh, you know, the outside. So he's able to hold him up. Uh, that's actually Barry Church, but yeah, he's able to hold him up, um, allow some help to get in, and essentially get uh, what seems like a no gain on the play. So um, it was a good play by Marcel Darius to be able to absorb this double team and be able to help out his teammates make a play on the ball. On this next play, you're going to see Marcel Darius line up on the outside shoulder of the center, essentially playing the nose tackle position, and you're going to see once again he helps out in a run-stopping play. Uh, you're going to see that um, he lines up this center and basically holds him up. And you're going to see the whole time he's peeking in the backfield, he's going to do with this blocker uh, whatever, wherever Joe Mixon goes. So, um, you know, if Joe Mixon goes that way, he's going to shed him that way. Um, if he goes the other way, he's going to shed him that way. But, um, you know, you're going to see that he has a position where he's able to do whatever he wants with the guy. Um, you're going to notice that he's going to start making this play. So after that, Darius just essentially gets rid of him and makes a play on the ball. So, um, you know, good play to stop the run by Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon ain't got nowhere to run this play. Uh, you know, good good play by my boy Marcel Darius. But who says Marcel Darius can only start to run? You're going to see him line up in this three technique position. And you're going to see right off the bat, he pretty much beats the, beats the center. Um, you're going to see the center actually holds him this play. So it's actually a penalty, but... Um, you know, if if he doesn't, you know, hold him, it looks like he's going to get a free shot on the quarterback. But, um, you know, you're going to see uh, the center sees that he's got that responsibility. He comes up. Marcel just literally gets rid of him real quick right at the point of contact. Um, he comes in there and holds. And that's what kind of allows a, or Andy Dalton to kind of get the ball out. But, you know, good play. Essentially a loss of yardage. Would have been a sack, but... Um, you know, good pressure by Marcel Darius to be able to cause a holding penalty. And the final play of this film review session, you're going to see Marcel Darius lined up on the outside shoulder of the guard. Um, you're going to see him be able to get another run stop, come in here. Um, he's going to keep his eyes in the backfield. He sees that it's going to be a run play, so um, he starts to make the move over there. Um, you're going to see Barry Church has this lane right here. You're going to see Miles, you know, this... Uh, I believe this is a guard coming in. I think it's a guard. It might be a center, but you're going to see him coming over here and uh, you know absorbing the block from Miles Jack. He's going to try to cut back and make a move, but Marcel Darius is already in there to make a play. So um, it's a good it's a good way to get some uh, get a stop from the backside instead of easily giving up on the play and just absorbing the block. Um, you know you hear a lot about how Marcel Darius does not give a lot of effort, but this is definitely an effort play. And it was a you know good good play by Marcel Darius. We held the you know a lot of people say that we're not the great defense because our run defense isn't that great. But uh, we were able to hold Joe Mixon to only 30 yards on the ground. Uh, you know their whole team to only 30 yards rushing. So 
Um, really good performance by the Jaguars defense in both the pass game and run game. And it's going to be definitely an exciting defense to look forward to. And Marcel Darius will hopefully be able to uh, create a lot of opportunity for our defense to do a lot more stuff. You know, I, I would assume that if I were to make some kind of prediction, I would think that him, Avery Jones, and Malik Jackson are going to start splitting up reps. So uh, you're going to see those guys cycling in a lot. And it's going to make for a really good interior interior rotation for our defensive line. But with all that said, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about our this big boy Marcel Darius. And I'll catch you guys next time.